Hey guys, we are now on the brand new EQS and uh, yeah, it's it's all brand new I guess so uh, getting to a, a bit uh, a Mercedes you know we're called the gear shifts on the stock on the top right corner you've got your brake which is on this side let me just bring you here that's your brake so basically you release your brake and you should be able to go the car is turned on as you can see there's lights there so let me just get this back over here uh, push one down you're now in D and uh, handbrake release is on this side and uh, we should be able to get ourselves moving and there we are in complete silence this is obviously an EV so you get the complete silence in the car oh this is nice man that's nice let's get the audio all off on here audio um, let's put our signal light and off we go So, first impression, what do you think? It's quiet. And I think, if anything, uh, if you think about, let's say, a Rolls Royce, a Bentley, and now the S Class, this is obviously the EQS. So, EQS stands for it's an electric vehicle, but more than that, it's a S. They put an S badge there. And I think it's deserving. The only way we can get into a, a car that is uh, quieter than this is if we go to a, I guess, a very refined. 10 cylinder, 12 cylinder, a really big engine and the future is electric and that's why I believe all s class in the future needs to be EV like this one over here I'm trying to pick up noises you know how you drive car and you pick up noises and I can't actually pick up any um, motor noise no whining like we had in the um, even the Taycan Taycan had a whining noise from the electric motor and obviously the fake sound which came from the uh, sound system over here it's nothing. Driving this car at this point in time in traffic. So here you are in Jalampudu, stuck in traffic. You can see there. Let's just see in front. Okay. Okay, we're in traffic and utter silence. Utter silence. The way it um, absorbs the undulation is pretty good. Obviously, being a, a S class, I think they've worked out all those kinks. Uh, in terms of um, how do you have a heavy maybe a two or three ton vehicle and not feel the bumps and bruises of the road and I think this one does it very well okay so if I was the driver and my boss was behind that being EQS I think he'll be happy because uh, it's very quiet it's very quiet uh, power I think on this one now a lot of times uh, car manufacturers will go and brag about their powers if you think about this opposed to a i don't know maybe a ev uh, sorry ev ev like a xc40 now whole different class xc40 being a small cup compact vehicle and this is obviously a large sedan a luxury sedan with pillows on your headrest this has only only 333 horsepower and about 500 of torque so for uh, if it was a 3 liter engine, um, turbo dash engine, this would be normal power specs. But for EV, we go like, wow, that isn't that powerful, isn't it? Only 333 horsepower. But that begs the question is that well, how much power do we actually need? And here, what Mercedes have done as with all their cars is that they have gone for what is adequate and convert that over into range. You get 782 kilometer range with this. Now it says here, 571 kilometers of battery uh, you get if you to travel in this car right now and uh, in terms of power we are at about what's our power uh, dial over here so on the left i've got my speed on the right i've got my power this is like my rpm meter if you think about it instead of rpm meter you've got this uh, gauge that which tells you how much power you're consuming uh, battery is i think it's on this side over here um, now one good thing is that you know when i was driving the uh, ix IX had an indicator which tells you exactly how many percentage of battery life is left. Now, the problem with that is, imagine having an IX and you go like 88%, 87%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%, 
84 percent there was a lot of anxiety driving the, the uh, typical ev cars because you tend to keep watching that meter dial going down and down and down over here it's like a typical um, petrol car where you've got a kind of a dial or a gauge and you kind of forget yeah it's three quarter yeah it's half and that to me is more than enough all i want to see is how much range hour i have in terms of rough estimate of the, of the gauge i know how many kilometer i have which is more important and i can drive without any anxiety so i think they have um, they have mastered how this should be presented if you think about back then 2013 when the Asus hybrid came out the Asus hybrid came out and you didn't, you didn't have an rpm meter it came out with a power meter it's zero to hundred when that came out people were saying what kind of car doesn't come with an rpm meter and that's a hybrid today it's real because why you see there here's watch the dial there and i'm going to this car uh, so i'm in zero now and I press this you can see that whoo oh that's beautiful i'm not sure if you saw that uh, on this on this section over here let's see the meter again uh how it how it goes from uh, blue there if i press this look at the side there on the corner it goes and see how it turns uh, the color actually changes hard to see that once again we get straight road um, it goes from blue and as it goes further and further whoo, the graphic is beautiful guys and you saw that on the side the ambient lighting uh, for some reason when I accelerated it, it became red so wow wow so imagine you're driving a car you hit 100% uh, power out output and suddenly your ambient lighting goes like red saying like wow you're in a sport zone now oh well, this is something else very interesting so all this while I'm driving the car now I didn't think that this was a EV because it drives very well and you know how some EVs if you have driven an EV it tends to kick down the power very early on um, a mini for example um, cars that are like let's say the um, uh, XC40 uh, those EVs when you power down it reminds you you are in an EV because power really kicks in on this one here power comes in very gradually very gracefully and I think it's very becoming of the EQS being a, a S class denominator in here so overall I think it's uh, fantastic you know especially with the whole MBUX uh, screen there I mean look at that screen look at that real estate let's just press this over here look at that screen this must be the biggest screen for maps uh, in the market even beats out the Lexus the think about this my two hands go in here and still I can't fit the screen there and it feels very intuitive isn't it it doesn't feel um, distracting because there's a little curve to this I'm not sure I can see this but it's a curve to this and it almost feels as if I'm I'm looking through the road itself and there's a map there so very nice sitting position uh, it's an S-Class I've got pillows bro I can go for days for miles um, I'll be your driver to hell and back and uh, I won't be complaining at all steering feel you know what very nice very uh, linear is the word I'm looking for because it doesn't feel sharp because one thing you can do like the Taycan for example the Taycan feels a little sharp that's a, that's a sportiness pedigree into the car itself whereas this one um, they have managed to bring that whole um, refinement how soft it is how how it glides there is that feeling there pedal pedal feel itself the brake now this is something I didn't think about until I, I went to the uh, motion here with the XC40 the Taycan and, and those vehicles the braking was very abrupt as in you brake brake and then you just um, um, kind of locks in because there is a regen braking happening over there and regen braking is uh, the I guess a shift from the normal brakes to the dynamo of the car when you press the, um, the brakes uh, using the motor here when I would brake you know what this is the measure you know an EQS is meant to be driven in you see in the back or once in a while the boss will drive the car but when the driver brakes the car I'm in traffic now in Jalan Pudu when you press the brake you see how I get to control the brake modulation very precisely wow wow I'm impressed I've I you know what I've never been in an EV which brakes 
this elegantly you know the way it breaks is just very seamless very quiet very I you know gradual you see here there's a car cutting in laser cutting in and I break my passengers are not being leaped over their seat wow that must have take a lot of manpower engineering to get that braking right wow so just looking over here that apparently there is a mode here normal recuperation this car is obviously for us for like 10 minutes um, and apparently it's a normal recuperation which means I can probably set uh, how the car recuperates so you see that normal recuperation I can go for more aggressive or probably less recuperation but right now normal recuperation the car breaks like a very good uh, big brake kit system so fantastic but by the way it does have a big brake kit system so um, the tires were like 20, the uh, rims were like 21 inches if I'm mistaken and the caliper was like yay big really big and I think they've uh, somehow married those two together very well you know? let's look at the car again uh, you got a big sunroof on this side and it wasn't enough if you go back there's another one there oh nice Really amazing guys okay okay i think that's part of the uh, driving review i'll try to get on the highway uh, in a moment there let's see how this goes on uh, really uh, fast acceleration because you know what we all are boys and at the end of the day we want to see how fast the baby goes zero to 100 okay stay tuned let's go for segment two where we drive it on a faster road okay so i guess the true measure of s class also how does it fare on bad roads and we're now in chan sao lane uh, we've got some clean roads here. Let's do some test of acceleration. Zero to hundred. Road is clear. Can you imagine that? Okay. Zero. Oh my! I just felt just the slightest tingle in the back of my head, where the blood is rushing to the to that part of the uh, the the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the brain. Woo! And it's good because you know why the Taycan I felt was almost a little too illegal. It felt a bit uh, too harsh. It felt like, uh, oh my, what am I, what have I done, you know? Uh, but this one is just in that cusp of being really nice. You know, you feel that uh, uh, rush in there. Nice, nice, really nice, nice. Okay, so let's get back on the road because I got to get this car back very soon. We've got eight minutes left. Uh, before they got to uh, hand over this car back to Mercedes and call it a day for our test drive So let's go on this road over here again really bad roads and I really don't feel uh, much in terms of uh, You know what? Road noise now it, 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 Yeah, it soaks things up so well Nice Perfect, perfect. Amazing, isn't it? Look at that. Chan Salin is probably one of the, the worst places to do a test drive, uh, but it's also the best place to do a test drive because the roads here are just really, really that bad. Uh, let's see if we can uh, walk around the menu. So, while driving this car, uh, as you can see here, this is the screen, the big screen you have there. You press home, you get to Mercedes EQ, and it sees your um, level of uh, battery capacity left and that's a good thing because it's over here and not in that screen in front there so I think it's a good way of putting things in uh, you've got your phone your radio everything is big to the touch although the touch screen is easy to get to because why it's a really big screen I can't miss no way will I miss radio uh, versus something else it's easy to get to apps you've got uh, your browser Mercedes me which tells you your car and how it has behaving you can link to your phone which is amazing uh, you've got info let's see about the car itself this talks about what's happening at the moment now so if you see if I'm getting on to this road there as I accelerate you can see that it tells you it's actually using up the battery uh, to charge the motor in the back because why it's a real wheel drive car guys yes it's a rear wheel drive car and the power is being sent to the rear and you know what since we are here in Chan Sao Lin I think I know a friend who's got a shop very right nearby here. We've got a couple of minutes. I think I can drop by. If my friend is at that shop, I think I can give him a minute or two to look at this vehicle. Let's just hope he is there. So next lane, is it? It's next lane. Made a mistake. Okay. We 
might know this friend. I hope he's there. If he's not there, do bet on him. Again, look at that. How it glides. The car really glides, guys. It really glides. Just glides. Fantastic. Woo! Very nice. I couldn't have picked a, a better location for a test drive because the roads here are really bad and I'm in total comfort. If you told me this was like a two or three ton car, I wouldn't believe you because it does feel very light. Okay, let's go back to the screen there we have here. Uh, what else we got? Comfort. Oh yeah, massage chairs. Let me see if I can uh, activate for Kevin. So Kevin, what do you feel? Can you feel the seat? Yep, I can feel it now. How is it? So far, so good. Is your is your I wish is I wish that I could have I could uh, be in this car for a longer <laughs> for a longer period of time so that I can enjoy more. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the car soon for test drive at one point in time. But right now, all the medias are going to the car, so we can't really test it. So just start and stop. I think it's very easy to uh, navigate here. Uh, let's see if we can drive in uh, to Prestige. Yeah, we're actually near Prestige. Let's see if corn is there. I want corn. Kobe's there. So we got Abang Korn. Korn. So Korn isn't there. His car is there. Korn there. Lava. Okay. Wow. <laughs> EQS. Test drive. I got to get back like in three minutes. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay, so look at the camera guys, look at the camera. So obviously, uh, big cars and big cameras, it's always a plus point and the camera here is fantastic. Uh, tight corners, not a problem. Okay, so I think this is the end of our test drive. We're going to go and give this car back. We had a short 20 minutes with the car and it's been a pleasant one. Okay hey guys, um, I hope to see you soon. I hope to get the car for a longer test drive period and we can bring you more fun features or fun facts of the EQS. But till now, for me, I think this is a definite buy. It's definitely different to all the other e EVs in the market and I'm quite liking this one. Okay guys, cheers, bye.